Hey guys, have you ever felt so burned out that you just want to stop creating videos or just really stop creating anything productive entirely? No? Well, that's fine because today let's talk about burnouts as this is evident in all content creators. But before we do, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey guys, my name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. We all know that burnout happens when amazing, high achievers, and creative people overburden themselves with tasks that gets the best of them. You just don't wake up feeling burned out, but with everyday stress that's piling up, it leaks out. Then suddenly, you'll feel it, and you'll feel it, it's so heavy to lift up. Today, let's talk about the signs of burnout in our episode of Freedom Quick Tips. So what is burnout? Burnout is a chronic stress disorder that leads to the following things. Number one, physical and emotional exhaustion. Number two, cynicism and detachment. Number three, feeling of ineffectiveness and lack of accomplishment. So how do you know when you are burned out? Well, it's easy. The first is denial. Yep, people who have this usually denies about it, but you see it on their faces, the long frown, the darkened eye bags, the irritable and miserable grimace every time you do something funny. Yeah, those people are in denial. But joking aside though, burnout is somewhat of a serious condition that overachievers such as ourselves have whenever our efforts, time, and talents are put into good use, but nothing comes out from our hard work. So now that we know about burnout, what are the signs of burnout? Since it has three underlying conditions, we will display the signs of the three following conditions. What are the signs of physical and emotional exhaustion? Number one is stressful fatigue. This condition is not just you're lazy, but you have this extreme feeling of exhaustion in both physical and mental state. It's not a happy sight to see, also to feel. To keep things in perspective, imagine yourself going to the gym and working out for one hour straight. Then your muscles are kinda tensed up and your knees starts to give in. That's for the physical aspect. Now for the mental aspect, you feel dizzy all the time, your vision gets kinda blurry and you can't process information as fast as you can before. Now try to put all those things together in your body but this time, you know you had a good night's rest and you're doing the same mental work as before. It's a pretty gnarly experience. You can't sleep at night. Sometimes everyone has this condition called insomnia because maybe you just want to play every night until 3 a.m. in the morning. But insomnia is a condition where you feel that you are very tired but you can't seem to get yourself and your body to sleep even if you put yourself in a trance or even if you feel you're very exhausted. Number three is super sadness. Depression is a serious mental illness. But for now, I will chalk it up to aggravated melancholy where you feel sad all the time but you function as a normal human being. Depression is something far worse than this. We would advise you guys that if you have depression, please seek out medical help as soon as possible. Number four is anxious feelings. If you feel always on the edge where you worry too much and the tension is piling up on your shoulders, that is a clear indication that you might be experiencing burnout. Anxiety is something that really stings us in the butt and oh boy, it's not pretty. And number five, signs of anger, heightened illness and physical symptoms, loss of appetite and the likes. So okay, all of the things I just said indicates that that you may have burnout but some of them might be because you have other medical situations that you need to get checked up on by your doctor. If you feel that your symptoms are beyond just sad and have other physical tensions on your body causing you intense pain or intense sadness, we urge you to go to a doctor as soon as you can. So the next one is the signs of cynicism and detachment. Number one, loss of enjoyment. When you lose the luster of creating videos and you feel that anything you do before that you enjoyed so much, it feels now that it becomes very dull and empty. Like when you eat your favorite ice cream and it suddenly tastes like cardboard. That's how it feels when you lose the joy in something that you liked before. And number two is isolating yourself from the world. Isolating yourself from the world may seem like a very selfish act, but this is caused because the person having burnout does not want to interact with people because he or she feels that social interaction is stressful and a waste of time. Sometimes we feel this way and this is true for myself as well, but I always try to bounce back. Number three is detachment. Detachment is like isolation. You feel disconnected from the whole world. Detachment is when you don't like to have people talk to you because it's like there's no point in talking to them. There's no point in having a conversation because you're just expending energy that you can use or save for other activities that you may want to do. And number four is pessimism. Well, this sign is like having one massive tantrum that you feel everything you do is something bad and 
every hope you see in the world is something very hopeless. That's being pessimistic and trust me, if it becomes a habit, once you have this, it's so hard to get out of your system. The last underlying condition for burnout is signs of ineffectiveness and the lack of accomplishment. Number one sign for this condition is feeling apathetic and feeling there is no hope to be had. This is the same with becoming pessimistic but man, when you lose hope, that's one of the signs of desperation. This is one of the things you must and should avoid. If you feel very desperate, you may resort to actions that you will really regret in life. Number two, increased irritability. This means that you get frustrated more often, even with jokes that's supposed to be funny. Those jokes to you is something very annoying. It is caused by a lack of patience for social interaction as burnout can give you this feeling that interaction is unnecessary. Number three is professional performance or personal productivity are in the general down low area. Piled up stress actually affects you in your professional career. May it be a YouTuber, a content creator, a job in your firm, or other jobs that you guys have. It will affect you and you will not like the consequences. And that's the episode guys, those are the signs that you guys are experiencing burnout. On the following episode, we will be telling you on how to counteract these kinds of conditions. If you have any tips for us, let us know down below. Do you have a friend who is in denial? Well, you can share this video to them so that they will know that they are in burnout and so that they won't be in the denial stage anymore. <laughs> this will really help them out. Before you leave guys, you know what to do, leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel, always remember, freedom. Quick tips. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye.